If you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I love to make pies. Now, typically I'll make my own pie crust. It's light, flaky, I love it. In fact, I'll link it at the end just in case you want it. But also sometimes I need a simpler version and that's where puff pastry comes into play. I buy store-bought puff pastry. It's incredibly easy to use. You thaw it, you roll it out, it's ready to go. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make an apple slab pie out of puff pastry. This has a crumble topping that I know that you are gonna love. So stick around. Of course, you don't wanna miss any of the details. As always, don't forget to subscribe. You don't wanna miss any of the new videos coming out. And then also, please, if you could, like my videos. Okay, you can of course buy um, canned apple pie filling, but it actually is really easy to make and I'm gonna show you how. Now I used Honeycrisp apples in this recipe, but typically I like to use a blend of Honeycrisp and Granny Smith. I love the tart sweet combination in my pie fillings. And what you do is you're gonna peel those. You can see I did it with a knife, but of course you can do it with a peeler as well. And then once they're peeled, quarter them, cut out the cores, and then you're gonna slice these ones for this recipe. I do it differently for my regular pies that I make, but for this one, I cut them about a quarter of an inch thick. You're gonna work through all of these, cut them all, and then add them to your pan. We're gonna cook these just a little bit before we bake them. I know that it's an extra step in the process, but it really makes it so much better. <clears throat> and then to this, you're gonna add the sugar, the cinnamon, the salt, and the cornstarch is what I use for a thickener and then also a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Mix this together, but mix it gently. I use a rubber spatula. Then you're gonna start to cook this, and if you notice that your apples aren't as juicy, you can always add in a little bit of water, which I did for mine, because they, did they didn't release as much juices as I figured they would. Continue to cook this until it's, the apples are just barely tender. It's kind of a fine little point here, but you can see they're softened just a little bit, but not overly soft. Then you're gonna set this aside and let them cool for a little bit. While they're cooling, I like to mix my um, crumble topping. This is very simple. I'm gonna attach, or I'm gonna add the link at the end of this video for my crumble topping. Mix it together. I use melted butter. I know a lot of people use uh, chilled butter and then cut it in, but I just think this is so much easier. <clears throat> you're gonna mix this all together and then you're gonna set this aside as well and then we're gonna start assembling. Now, if you've never used puff pastry before, you can make it on your own, of course, but I just buy mine. Uh, I used Pepperidge Farm. There's a lot of different brands that you can use. You're gonna wanna soften this in the fridge or thaw it in the fridge overnight. It comes frozen. Once it's thawed, you're gonna pull it out just like this. They have the papers that separate the puff pastry. And then I like to roll it uh, just a little bit. You want it to be probably two to three inches bigger than what it is um, when you bought it and when you pull it out. And then you're gonna put this onto a parchment lined baking sheet. You don't have to use a parchment, but it makes it so much easier for cleanup. And then you're gonna take your apples that are cooked and cooled at this point, and you're gonna set them right in the middle of the puff pastry sheet. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave probably about an inch all the way around. There's a little bit more on the edges, but that's typically what you're going for. And then once all the apples, <coughs> excuse me, once all the apples are in the middle, you're gonna put on your crumble topping. Once the crumble topping is on and it's spread fairly evenly, you can either brush the edges or just bake them. I just went ahead, <coughs> excuse me, and just baked it. But you can also do an egg wash on the edges for a a more golden brown crust. Move this immediately to your preheated oven, bake it until the puff pastry is golden and the apples are tender, and then I cut it into rectangles or squares, whatever size you want, and it's ready to serve. It can be served hot, it can be served cooled. It's so simple to make, so much easier than a regular pie, and it is absolutely delicious. You are gonna love it.